मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम इन मैथ्स क्लास टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर थर्टीन दैट इज डेटा हैंडलिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज डेटा डेटा मींस कलेक्शन ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर अ पर्पज फॉर अ पर्पज इफ वी कलेक्ट द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड डेटा ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस डिवाइज स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फिफ्थ हैव टू चूज देयर क्लास मॉनिटर ओके दे हैव टू चूज देयर क्लास मॉनिटर जया सिखा मंजीत एंड जोशफ आर द कैंडिडेट्स दीज फोर आर द कैंडिडेट्स ओके ईच ऑफ देम हैज अ स्पेशल क्वालिटी ईच हैज स्पेशल क्वालिटी दैट्स वाई दे गिव देयर नेम फॉर द मॉनिटर ओके सो द स्टूडेंट्स हैव टू वोट फॉर वन ऑफ दैम ओके स्टूडेंट्स को उनमें से वन को वोट करना था ठीक है सो हेर इज टीचर इज सिटिंग हेयर एंड दिस इज द क्लास फिफ्थ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू इलेक्ट द क्लास मॉनिटर टीचर इज सेंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू इलेक्ट द क्लास मॉनिटर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हेर इज वन स्टूडेंट इज सेंग दैट देर इज फोर स्टूडेंट जया सिखा मंजीत एंड जोशफ सो वन इज सेंग दैट आई एम द टॉपर ऑफ द क्लास ऑल आर टेलिंग देयर क्वालिटी सो ही इज टेलिंग दैट आई एम द टॉपर ऑफ द क्लास ओके देन सेकेंड वन ही इज सेंग दैट आई एम द स्पोर्ट कैपिटन कैप्टन ऑफ द प्राइमरी सेक्शन ओके ये अपनी क्वालिटी बता रहा है कि आई एम द स्पोर्ट कैप्टन ओके गेम्स का कैप्टन हूँ आई एम द मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्टूडेंट ही इज सेंग दैट आई एम द मोस्ट पॉपुलर कि मैं सबसे ज्यादा पॉपुलर हूँ ओके एंड दिस वन इज सेंग दैट आई एम द मोस्ट हेल्पफुल ये कह रहा है कि मैं सबसे ज्यादा हेल्पफुल हूँ सो ऑल हैव देयर स्पेशल क्वालिटी सो नाउ क्लास विल इलेक्ट दैट हु विल द मॉनिटर सो दिस कलेक्शन इज नोन एज हेयर वी कलेक्ट द इंफॉर्मेशन सो दैट इज डेटा सो नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिकेप एक्सरसाइज इज देयर सो फर्स्ट नंबर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज देयर हेयर इज अ पिक्टोग्राफ शोइंग द नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट एनिमल्स इन अ जू सी द पिक्टोग्राफ एंड आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन यू विल सी द पिक्टोग्राफ एंड यू विल गिव आंसर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन सी हेयर जिराफ देर इज फाइव पिक्चर्स ओके जेब्रा थ्री पिक्चर्स लॉयन देर इज सेवन पिक्चर्स ऑलवेज कीप इन योर माइंड वेन एवर बी स्टडी अ पिक्टोग्राफ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी रिक्वायर टू रीड द स्केल विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्केल वी रीड द पिक्टोग्राफ विदाउट स्केल वी कांट रीड ओके इफ देर इज नॉट गिवन अ स्केल दैट मीन्स वन पिक्चर विल शो टू वन बट इफ देर इज गिवन स्केल सो अकॉर्डिंग टू स्केल वी विल रीड सो विल सी देयर देर इज गिवन स्केल और नॉट हेयर इज नॉट गिवन बट ऑन द नेक्स्ट पेज वील चेक दैट स्केल इज नॉट देयर और नॉट सो वी कैन सी दैट देर इज नो स्केल दैट मीन्स वन पिक्चर विल शो टू द वन एनिमल सो हेयर वी कैन सी दैट फाइव पिक्चर्स इन जेब्रा दैट मीन्स फाइव जेब्राज आर देयर सॉरी फाइव जिराफ आर देयर देन जेब्रा आर थ्री एंड लॉइंस आर सेवन ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी विल स्टडी जिराफ फाइव जेब्रा थ्री एंड लॉय सेवन नाउ वी विल गिव द आंसर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज देयर हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स आर देयर इन द जू so you can see that how many types of animals three types so we'll write here three types okay then next question is there what kind of animals are the highest in number what kind of animal kis tarah ke animal sabse zyada hai so you will see lion is there lion sabse zyada you can see here it is given lion are the most so lion are the highest okay next c part how many times are lions more than zebra so you can see that zebras are 3 and lions are 7 so how many times zebra uh, lions more than zebra to so zebra se jo lion hai wo kitne times zyada hai so what will we do 7 divided by 3 because there is zebra ja 3 and lions are Seven. So now we'll do divide. Three ones are three two jar six. Okay. Now seven minus six one. We'll put here point. Then we'll put here zero. Three three jar nine. So two point 
3. Again, we will get here 1. We can put here 0. Then again, 3, 3 is your 9. So, that means again and again we will get here 1 as a remainder. Again and again we are getting 1, 1, 1. So, that means we will have the answer 2.33 times. Okay. 2.33 times. Itne times ye jyada hai. Okay. 2 times se jyada hai yaha pe 2.33. That is more. How many times are loins more than zebra? So, 2.33 times more loins are than zebra. Okay. Now, there is question number second. Make a pictograph using the information given below and explain your symbol. You should explain your symbol also if you are taking and give the give a title to the pictograph. Okay. So, you will make here pictograph. You will give heading also and you will use the symbol also. Okay. So, here is given class 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the number of students admitted. So, here is number of students admitted. In 6th class, 85. In 7th, 30. In 8th, 40. In 9th, 20. In 10th, 15. In 11, 5. In 12, 10. <coughs> so, we can see here. These all numbers are coming in 5 table. So, that means we can take a scale of 5. Okay, one picture equals to five. Okay, so now we will make a pictograph. So for pictograph, first of all we make a table. Okay, so here I make a table like this. You will make two columns. Okay, and now here we will write the class. Okay, in this we write the class. And here number of students, number of students students admitted okay so here we can write admitted number of student admitted clear that we have to write these are our headings because there is given title also so here is class and here is number of students admitted these are our heading now we select a symbol that one picture, one face that will show 5. Okay. So, that scale we will write here. So, firstly we write here scale. Then we will draw. So, scale 1 face. We will draw for student face. That will show equals to 5 students. Okay. It will show 5 students. Okay. One face that show five students now first of all class six so here we will write class six in class six there is 85 students so in five table where is 85 17 okay so we will make here 17 pictures one two same pictures we should make three four five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and then 17. So, we should make here 17 pictures clear then after that now class 6 is finished so we'll make here one line okay like this we will close this class 6 box now we will take class 7 okay so class 7 is there in class 7 we can see that 30 students so in 5 table where is 30 5 6 are 30 so we'll make here 6 faces 1 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay. Then class 6 is over. So, we will make here line. We will close the box. Okay. 
now after that class 8 class 8 how many student 40 in class 8 we will see that 40 students so 5 eights are 40 that means we will make here 8 picture 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay now 8 is also over then after that class 9 okay we make here class 9 in class 9 we can see that how many student 20 so 5 fours are 20 because one picture is showing 5 so we will make here 5 fours are 24 picture will make here 1 2 3 4 now class after class 9 we have class 10 okay so we close it now we should make class 10 in class 10 how many student we can see that in class 10 15 so we'll make here 5 3 are 15 3 pictures 1 2 3 now after that class 11 so we'll close it also then after that class 11 will come here and then after that class 12th okay this is 11 and 12th we will close here in the last we will close for class 10 okay now this box also will finish like this that we have to close okay so now class here is class 11th and now class 12th in class 11th we know that five student is there so for five student only one picture and in class 12th we have 10 students so we'll make here two pictures okay for 10 student will make here two picture so this like this we have to first of all that is what is main thing in pictograph we should use the scale okay we will choose the scale and one picture shows how many that we have to write here and then we will draw our pictograph so like this you have to prepare your pictograph okay so recap exercise is finished now we will continue our next topic now what is data so as i told you that what is data information in the form of numerical figures that is used to find out things and to make decisions is called data okay information in the form of numerical figure that is used to find the things and to make decisions is called data okay in the simple form we can say that collection of information that is also collection of information for a purpose is called data means main thing is that collection of information in the numerical figure that is data so here you will see uh, next is after data next is tally chart so what is tally chart a tally chart is a quick or easy way to count how many are there in each category okay easily we can find and we can calculate by the tally marks okay we represent each item as a vertical spoke one item ke liye hum one spoke use karte hain and every fifth observation is represented by the crossing the four spokes diagonally to four spokes are like this one two three four and we cut it okay so how we write in tally marks for one we use one spoke for two two spoke for three three spoke for four four spoke and for five we use four spoke and then we cut the four spoke diagonally okay like this that is five then six again five and then one more line that is six then seven then for eight three lines for nine four and for ten again five okay so like this continue tally marks move okay now after that frequency if an observation occurs six times is data in data its frequency is six okay jitne times means frequency means number of times okay 
so the number of times a particular observation occurs in the data is known as frequency usse hum kya bolte hain frequency means number of times koi bhi jo hai information kitne times repeat hui that is called frequency you can see here example is also given same name again this type data is called raw data okay ye aapke paas raw data hai to hum isko tally marks se easily represent kar sakte hain how many times is there repeating again and again the number okay so how many time that is uh, repeating so that's called frequency you can see here there is also showing ice cream flavor is there so tally marks by tally marks it is showing and how many times is that that is called frequency ki koi bhi jaise aapke paas strawberry flavor kitne bar repeat hua hai isme 20 times so that number of times is called frequency okay and this is showed by tally marks the next is after that we have bar graph okay so bar graph is what one of the most common and effective ways of representing data by means of a bar graph by the bar graph we can easily draw the easily we can represent the data okay a bar graph represent numerical data by a number of rectangular bars of equal width क्या होती है हमारे पास उसकी विड जो होती है वो इक्वल होती है लाइक दिस ओके वी हैव बार ग्राफ लाइक दिस दिस बार्स हैव इक्वल विड सो इन द ग्राफ सीट वी शुड मेक द बार ग्राफ ओके बिकॉज इन ग्राफ सीट एज वी नो दैट देर इज इक्वल गैप्स ओके इन द लाइन इफ इफ इन द नोटबुक यू आर मेकिंग सो अगेन एंड अगेन यू विल मेज मेजर एंड देन यू विल मेक द इक्वल गैप so for that we will use bar uh, that is graph sheet so that have equal number of boxes equal gap is there okay so we have equal gap in between them dekho one box mein aapko bars given hai one mein gap one box bar and in one gap okay so we have in bar graph we make like this bars so these are the rectangles with equal width ओके okay, इनकी विड्थ इक्वल होती है हाइट तो डेटा के अकॉर्डिंग होगी हाइट लेस मोर अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेटा बट द विड्थ विल बी सेम जो इसकी विड्थ है वो सेम रहेगी और इनके बीच में जो गैप आएगा दैट आल्सो सेम ओके सो दैट वी विल टेक केयर व्हेन वी मेक द बार ग्राफ सो वी विल लीव वन बॉक्स गैप एंड देन इन वन बॉक्स वी विल मेक अ बार अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेटा वी विल गिव द हाइट हेयर इज फोर देन थ्री देन फाइव देन to so according to, to the data we will make their height okay in this also we require the scale isme bhi hame scale ki uh, requirement hoti hai ki hum jo one box jo ye gap lenge how many okay in that 10 20 in which table we are getting the datas that we will take here so that scale we will write here also that how many one square box equals to how many 10 20 30 100 1000 how much is there okay then next is after that we have a circle graph circle graph is what circle graphs also called pie chart circle graph ko hum pie chart bhi bolte hain are a type of graph used to represent a part of whole relationship okay they are used to compare different parts of a whole amount we can compare by uh, circle graph we can compare easily that which is more by seeing only we can see that which is more which is less you can see here there is given a circle graph so by this picture we can tell that which have more which have less okay so first point is there they are circular shape graphs with the end, uh, entire circle representing the whole ओके सर्कल शेप का ग्राफ होता है जिसमें पूरा सर्कल होल को पूरे के पूरे टोटल कितने हैं उसको रिप्रेजेंट करता है ओके देन द सर्कल इज देन स्प्लिट इनटू पार्ट्स और सेक्शन सर्कल्स को अलग अलग पार्ट्स में डिवाइड कर दिया जाता है क्लियर देन ईच पार्ट सेक्शन इज प्रोपोर्शनल इन साइज टू द अमाउंट ईच पार्ट सेक्शन रिप्रेजेंट ओके ये ईच पार्ट्स को जो है अलग अलग जितना अमाउंट होता है अकॉर्डिंग टू द अमाउंट देयर साइज इज गिवन इफ यू हैव मोर अमाउंट सो द साइज विल बी बिग 
if they have less amount so the size will be small so therefore it is easy to make a comparison so easily we can compare okay here we can see that there is a given circle graph so king's burger there is 16 okay and desi house there is 8 pizza house 4 chat wala there is 4 okay so we can see that these are the equal so there is equal okay this is more so this is big and this is the highest so this is this will have the largest okay area okay largest portion that have so by the uh, only watching this we can tell that which have more which have less if there is not even number so by watching we can compare it easily circle graph is easy to compare okay now we will start our exercise okay now exercise 13.1 one question one is there complete the table below so here is given one table that you have to complete according to this these pictures so here is given fruits tally tally means here you will write with the tally marks and there is total number so firstly we will write total then we can represent this in the tally marks so here is given fruit number of apples so you will come count here how many apples are given here in first line there is no apple in second line one two three then third line four five six seven so there are seven apples firstly we will write here in total the number of orange so you will count here orange one two three four then after that strawberry so count here one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 12 strawberries are there. Then after that number of pears. So, we will count here pears. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now, one time we will do here total also. There total. How much total is there? 7 plus 4, 11. 11 plus 12. That's 23. 23 plus 5, 20. 8 so you should count here there is also 28 or more than 28 we have count all or not so by that we have to get here 28 or not 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 that means we have taken here all okay now we should show it by the tally mark so how we write 7 1, 2, 3, 4, then for 5 we will make here a diagonal line. Then 6, 7. Now 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in, for 5 diagonal line. Okay, so like this our question 1 is complete okay now question second the bar graph given below shows different temperatures in different cities okay it is bar graph is given and this is showing temperature in different cities this there is given temperature of first june and there is of first december okay there is given four cities the same four cities are there also and 1st June and 1st December temperature is given here. So, there is temperature and there is name of cities. Okay. So, we will give title also like this. There is cities Delhi, Simla, Bangalore and Jaisalmer. And there is temperature 5 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees, 15 degree, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Till 40 here is given scale. There is also given till 40 scale. Okay, there is also the same four cities. Now, this is the 1st December. So, we see there, daily temperature on 1st June, there is 33 degree Celsius. And daily temperature on 1st December is 23 degree Celsius. That means, there is difference of 10 degree. Okay, in December, it is 10 degree down. Now, similar, in June, there is 22 degree Celsius. And in December, there is 10 degree Celsius. So, this is 12 degree down. Okay. Then, Bangalore. Bangalore has 28 degree Celsius in on 1st June. 
and on 1st December it is 24 degree Celsius. So there is difference is only 4 degree. This is the least difference. Okay. Then next is Jaisalmer. On 1st June there is 38 degree Celsius and on 1st December there is 25 degree Celsius. So there is also 13 degree difference is there. So the less difference is in Bangalore. Okay. Now find uh, the following from the bar chart. You have did this. Now we should give the answer. Okay. From this bar chart. First is which city is the hottest on 1st June. Hottest matlab. This means the temperature hoga hotni garam hogi. Hot hogi. So which city is the hottest on 1st June. You can see here there is Jaisalmer. So right here Jaisalmer. Okay. Jaisalmer is the hottest city on 1st June. Okay. So you should write your complete answer in your notebook. Jaisalmer is the hottest city on 1st June. Okay. Now next which city is the coldest on 1st December. So on 1st December which is the coldest. You can see that Simla is the coldest. 1st December temperature is here. So, which is the coldest? This means of come temperature okay, that is the coldest. So, you can see that Simla is the coldest. So, we write here Simla is the coldest city on 1st December. We write here Simla S H I M L A. The next is which city shows least change in temperature on the two days 1st June and 1st December? Which city shows least change? Subse kam change konsi city mein aaya hai? So we can see that Bangalore has the least change. So we write here Bangalore has the least change in temperature. So we write here Bangalore. Which city is there? Bangalore. Okay that has the least change. Next after that it is a D part. Which city shows most change in temperature on the two days. So which city as I told you that Jaisalmer has the most change. So we write here Jaisalmer. Jaisalmer has the most change. J-I-S-A-L-M-E-R. Jaisalmer has the most change. Okay in temperature. So we can write here Jaisalmer city shows most change in temperature then next when the temperature in Delhi is high among the two days so high to kab hoga as we know that on 1st June at, that will be high ok and on 1st December this is low so when we have high on 1st June so we write on 1st June is the high ok so that's your answer now we will do question number 3 now question number 3. The students of class 5 gave the following choices about their favorite dresses. Okay. Prepare a tally chart and represent the information with the help of a pictograph and bar graph. Means you will make all three things. You will make tally chart also. You will make pictograph also and you will make a bar graph also. Data are given here. Raw data is given here. There is given. Uh, choices of dresses okay so there is jeans t-shirt jacket bermuda sweater sweater t-shirt sweater jacket like this there is given the names so how we'll make the tally chart first of all we'll make here tally chart so for making tally chart question number three is there we make tally chart first of all so for making tally chart firstly we prepare the table like this okay then first heading we will write dresses because dresses name is given here. Then tally marks and then frequency. Frequency means number of times. How many times the uh, same thing is repeating. Okay. So we will see first of all I write here dresses name jeans, t-shirt, jacket, bermuda, sweater. These are given here. So I write these all names. Okay. So now we will see first of all how many times jeans is repeating. That we will write in frequency and we will make here tally marks. So we can see that jeans is 1, then 
there is no genes only one time genes is there in second line also there is no genes in third also there is no genes in fourth also there is no genes and in fifth also no genes so only one time we have genes so we'll write here one okay now after that second number t-shirt so we'll check how many time t-shirt is there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so t-shirt is repeating twelve times okay then jacket third number jacket one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve 12 time jackets so we write here jacket 12 times then after that bermudas so how many time bermudas 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we write here 8 bermudas means shorts that we wear in the winters okay sorry in summer you wear in the summers the shorts that is called bermuda okay next is sweater so we will see here sweater how many times one two three four five six seven eight okay so sweaters are eight times Okay, so now we will make their tally marks. So for 1, we will make here 1 line. Okay, for 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, for 5, we will cut these 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, for 10, again we cut 11, 12. Okay, there is also 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, then cut 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 12 okay there is 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay again 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so like this our tally chart is complete so make like this tally chart now second is the same data represent through pictograph so now we'll make here pictograph so for pictograph we will select the key so we can see that the all are coming in two table but one is not coming in two table okay so we can take the scale of one also one face that's equals to one but when we take one face equals to one so for 12 we should make 12 faces okay so that will take lot of space so what we can do the rest all are coming in two table and one is the half of two okay so for one we can make the half face because half face will show the one okay because one complete face will show the two two so half face will be one because one is the half of two so we can take here the scale as a one face equals to two so first of all we will take here scale so we write here scale okay then scale we will for the students we will make here face okay then one face will show two students. One face will show two students. Okay. So like this first of all we select the scale. Now first of all we make the two column. For the pictograph we make a two column. One is for naming dresses are there. So we write heading dresses. And here number of students okay now dress is name i have written already here jeans t-shirt jacket bermuda sweater okay and, and i prepare the box you should make box like this now jeans there is only one okay so for one we should make only half face okay because for two we have one complete face so for one we should make a half face like this okay now this is one half face will show one now next 12 
T-shirt are twelve. So four twelve will make six faces because two six are twelve. One face that show two. So two six are twelve. So we should make here six feet. One two three four five six. Okay, that will be the same size. Okay, and same thick. Then again, there is jacket also twelve. So for twelve, again we make six faces: one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Then Bermuda, how much? Eight. So we'll make here two fours are eight. Four pick. One. Okay. Two. Three, four. The next is after one Bermuda sweater. Sweater also eight. So for eight we will make four pick. One, two, three, four. Okay. So like this our pictograph is complete. So like this we will show our pictograph. Now the same data we will represent in the bar graph. So how we will make in bar graph? 